Are you completely baffled when it comes to the concept of book bleed? Well, don't worry, you're not alone. I'm going to show you step by step how to create a children's picture book with bleed in PowerPoint. So stick around. Hey everybody, Keith Wheeler here. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing a little bit easier to navigate, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so you can get alerted each and every time I put out new content. In a previous video, I showed you how to create a children's picture book in PowerPoint, and I'm going to include a link to it here. Book Bleeds, is there anything else in the book formatting process that, that is more confusing? Well, I'm going to do my best to demystify the concept of book bleed and show you exactly how to create a children's picture book with bleed in PowerPoint. So just to be clear, there are two different types of books. There are books with bleed and books without. Now, an example of a book without bleed is the book My Buddy Knows Letters that I used for the base of my other video that I did. And basically, without bleed means the images don't go all the way to the edge of the pages. On the other hand, you have books with bleed, which is what we're going to work on, and this is my book Mimi's Adventures, which is the example we're going to use in this, and books with bleed, the illustrations go all the way to the edge. So that's the difference between books with bleed and books without. Because cutting your book isn't always 100% exact, you want to add an extra area beyond the dimensions of your book to act as kind of a safety zone. This area is what they call the bleed. It's the calculating of this bleed that seems to trip people up. So I'm going to show you exactly how to figure it out. And don't worry, you won't need to be a NASA engineer to figure it out. Before we get started, there are three terms that you need to know. The inside margin or gutter, and that's this. this part right here that's the inside or gutter um, the outside margin which is here and all along this side and then the bleed which again is the area outside the dimensions of your book so those are the things that you need to know now that we've covered that I'm gonna flip the screen around and we're gonna get started since I'll be uploading my book to CreateSpace, I'm going to go to createspace.com and then I'm going to go into the search site and I'm going to type in interior specs. And as you can see, the very first thing that comes up is book interior guidelines and I'm going to click on that. Now if you remember from before, I told you there are three things that you need to know. You need to know the inside margin, what the outside margin is, and your bleed. So the good news is, is especially if you're going to do multiple books with bleed, the only dimensions that are going to change are your inside margin. So my book is 26 pages long. So I'm going to go here and see if it's between 24 and 150 pages. My inside margin is going to have to be 0.375 inches. So I'm going to write that down. My outside margin when you're doing a book with bleed, you want it to be, as it says right here, you want it to be half an inch. And then your bleed, again, that's the part that goes, extends beyond the dimensions of your book. You want that to be 0.125. It says that right here when it says containing images. 0.125 inches is what you want. Um, for your bleed width wise um, as well as height now if you look it says your height is going to be 0.25 but that's because of 0.125 inches on the top 0.125 inches on the bottom so again inside margin is going to be 0.375 outside margin is going to be 0.5 and my bleed is going to be 0.125 you're going to write all the information down and that's all we need to do our book. So now I'm going to open up PowerPoint and I'm going to select a blank presentation. 
and I'm going to set the size. So I'll go to Design, Slide Size, Custom Slide Size. So now the first thing I need to do is figure out the size of the file that I want. And here's where the math comes in. My book is going to be an 8 by 10. And if you remember, the bleed I want is to be 0.125 wide. So I'm going to set the width to 8.125. And the height, I want to be 10 inches. But then I also need a bleed of 0.125 on top and 0.125 on the bottom. So that'll be a total of 10.125. Now you may be saying, Keith, why didn't you include the 0.125 on width twice? That's because if you, if you can picture a closed book, you really only have one outside edge. The other side is where the spine is. So you're not going to include the bleed for that. So width wise, you only include the 0.125 one time. That wasn't, that wasn't too bad, right? Okay, so I'm gonna click OK, ensure fit, and here is my document. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna clean up all this extra stuff that I don't need. And now I need to work on what I call my workspace. And by doing that, I'm gonna to go to View, Slide Master, and I'm gonna insert a new layout. Now I'm gonna rename this layout, and I'm gonna call it left pages and the reason I'm doing that is because we're doing dealing with bleeds there's going to be a different layout for left side pages than there is for the right side and I'll, more on that in a moment now let me once again clear out all this extra stuff I don't need so I'm going to start off with creating my half inch margins so I'm going to go to insert shapes I'm going to pick a rectangle I'm just going to draw a rectangle I'm going to right click inside it and I'm going to go to size and positions now I'm going to start off by doing my margin for the top and the bottom so my height is going to be my half inch margin and my width is going to be the entire width of my file which is 8.125 and then I just drag this to the top and I always remove the fill so I just click no fill now I'm going to click on this and control C copy control V paste and I'm going to put one down here at the bottom so there we go we've got our top margin and our bottom margin here's where your pages will differ remember the inside margin or gutter that we talked about before well, that inside margin will be in a different place depending on whether you're dealing with a left page or a right page. If you can't visualize this right now, that's fine. Just pause this video and go grab a book. Open it up and you'll see that the left-hand pages will have their inside margin, the part that's facing the spine, on the right-hand side. Right-hand pages will have their inside margin or gutter on the left. The easiest way for me to remember this is that whichever page I'm currently working on, that's the side that will have the normal half inch margin. The sides left over is your gutter. Since I'm currently working on the left page layout, I'm going to want a half inch margin on my left. So again, I'm going to insert a shape, right click, inside position, and you can see how fast this goes once you get used to it. Um, my height is going to be the entire height of my book with bleed, so it's going to be 10.25, and the width is going to be my half inch margin. Put that right there. Again, I'm going to right click, remove my fill, and now the spot that's left over, this is going to be my inside margin or my gutter. And this one, according to CreateSpace, because my book is between 24 pages and 150, I want it to be 0.375. So again, 
insert shape rectangle I'm gonna right click inside it change the size my height is going to be the entire height of my book 10.25 and my width is going to be 0.375 and this is my gutter there we go so I'm going to go in and I'm going to remove the fill and there we go margin 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 gutter or inside margin now all I have to do is right click on this duplicate this layout and now I'm going to rename this one to right pages and the only difference between these two is I'm going to switch these two margins bring that all the way over there we go bring this one all the way over There we go. Left page and right page layouts are both set up. So now I'm going to go to view, normal, and now I'm going to start working on my book. So this is going to be our first page. Uh, books always start with the right hand page. So this is going to be a right handed page. But before I change the layout, I'm going to copy this and duplicate this slide. And then now I can go to my first page. All of your odd numbered pages are going to be on your right hand side. So this is a right handed page. I'm going to click right click. I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to set it up as a right page. This one, obviously, I'm going to right click, change the layout, and it's a left page. And these are just used as guidelines. The, the main thing about your margins is you want to make sure that none of your text goes into these areas so from that point I just go in and I can copy and paste like if I know this is going to be 26 pages long I'm going to copy both both of these pages with control C and then I just hit control V until I get to 26 pages If you're not putting yours up on CreateSpace, you'll want to go to whichever platform you're going to use and check and see what their interior margins are. But for CreateSpace, this is what we have. So then now I'm on my first page. So I can just go in and insert pictures, navigate to my book. Here's the Mimi book. And here is page one. Now, as you can see, it doesn't fit 100%, so I'm just going to drag it, expand it a little bit. And the most important part, like I said, is to make sure that your text does not go into any of those margins. So if I just click on the side and I drag it a little bit, I can actually see behind the scenes. Here, let me make this a little wider. I can see where my guidelines are. And that's it. That's how you create a book using bleeds. Um, obviously, you're just going to go through, add all your pages in, uh, move things around to make sure that they're not in those margins. Make sure you save regularly. Um, and then, when you have your book completely set up, before you export it to PDF, you're going to want to go back to View slide master and just go into both of these layouts that you set up and delete these lines so just click on it and hit delete or you can just go in and click control a and delete it all at once and then you'll go back to your page and then you won't have any of the lines now don't save after you remove those lines You'll just go to File, Export, Create PDF, and then just click on Create PDF. 
The reason why you don't want to save it without the lines is so that way, if you have to come back later and make any changes, you know, maybe CreateSpace says something's wrong, you already have your guidelines still in place. And you can just go to that file and make whatever tweaks need to be made, save it, then go remove the guidelines and export it. Did you find this video helpful? Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to continue to get all of the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing a little bit easier to navigate, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out new content. Until next time, remember to write right.